the president portal sees only sterling achievement. The county government will tell you a completely different truth. Land. Jubilee claims that it has issued up to 2.4 million title deeds uh, these past four years. Yet in January, the High Court ruled that over the 3 million land title deeds issued by the Jubilee administration since 2013 were irregularly processed and therefore illegal. Not ODM, not NASA, not Raila saying the High Court is the one that made that rule. The High Court, the Ministry of Lands, uh, proceeded to prepare these documents in violation of the law governing land matters by ignoring the input of the National Land Commission. The court said the ministry had erred in processing the titles as there were no regulations in place to guide the process in accordance with the Land Registration Act. Social inclusion. Jubilee claims to have engineered a social inclusion project that has seen vulnerable families benefit from a cash transfer program. The truth is that the cash transfer program was launched by the Grand Coalition government. Some of you remember me moving around. I had the honor as the Prime Minister to launch this program in March of 2012 at Tanaka Grounds in Mombasa, targeting Mbita, Likoni, Changamwe, and Kisauni in the initial phase where the households uh, got 2,000 shillings each. The money came from the government of Japan, which gave us financial assistance totaling about 200 million shillings. And this project was supposed to be rolled out throughout the country. It stalled until now. We are now putting the budget to the start in July of this year when Jubilee is out of power, or we get it out. It has been hit by poor communication and questionable and unpredictable payment arrangements. Beneficiaries have no idea on which date they are supposed to get the money. One month you get it, the next month you don't. Amounts vary depending on how much bribe you are to part with. Food security. Jubilee spent, say, uh, Jubilee spent, and Jubilee says, it spent 7.2 billion shillings on Galana Kulalu irrigation project. There's nothing to show for the billions. As we speak, Jubilee administration has sent appeals for food aid all over the world. Government reports say that the number of Kenyans facing starvation has risen from 2.7 million in 2017 uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to 2.7 million in 2017 from 1.7 million last year. Up to 3 million Kenyans are in need of food relief. But we remember the Galana Kalanu that said that uh, talked about one million uh, acres of irrigated agriculture. In February, the media reported that the government has approved the import of five million bags or four hundred and fifty thousand tons of yellow maize from Ukraine. The Galana Kulalu irrigation scheme produced ten 90 kilogram bags of maize per acre instead of 40 bags per acre that was projected. Once again, no value or money. Ease of doing business. We are told there is another portal, e citizen online portal, to ease doing business in Kenya. That is commendable. But the National Bureau of Statistics also says up to 2.2 million small enterprises closed shop over the last five years. They include Soft Bottling Company, 
Samia Africa's Ghana Tires Unit, Ever Red East Africa, Chocolate Maker Cadbury shut down its factory in Nairobi in October 2014. Procter and Gamble and Repeat uh, uh, Benkiza, among others, the highest number of establishment shut down was in 2015. See, many, many businesses are shutting shop here and relocating to other destinations like Tanzania, like Uganda, like Egypt, like South Africa, because of the difficulty of doing business in Kenya, particularly corruption and bureaucracy. National security. Like the health sector, national security has been the home of old school corruption. As we have bought equipment, we have suffered more attacks than at any one time in our history, thanks to our unending war in Somalia and the corruption in vital sectors of the administration. Jubilee may be banking on Kenyans forgetting the past, but as a position, we will not forget that past. This is a very innovative this is a very inopportune time for the president to make the wild claims he's making. What the president and the administration think they are achieving with the authentic facts remains a mystery. <coughs> One thing is clear though. The president is struggling to account for his four years in office. The lies have caught up with him and the news is tightening around and